Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can remove or disable Copilot from Windows 11. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to look into how you can remove or disable Copilot. This is Windows 11's AI system with Bing Chat. I know that not everybody likes it. I don't mind it. I've got no problems with it. But uh, if you really want to get rid of it, then this guide is going to show you how. Now, first of all, the easiest way you can get rid of it or get rid of the icon, certainly at the bottom of the screen, is just to right click on any blank spot at the bottom of the screen, left click taskbar settings. And then here you have Copilot preview or Copilot. You can just literally toggle that on off switch. And as you can see, at the bottom of the screen there, when I turn it off, Copilot disappears. But what if you want to go a step further and turn it off completely? I should say before continuing, only do this if you wish to permanently remove Copilot. Unfortunately, reversing this procedure doesn't always restore it. Well, what we need to do is we need to go into the registry editor. Now I should say going into the registry editor could be dangerous. So do make sure you follow these instructions precisely. If you get one little bit wrong, you could end up trashing Windows. So I would say now is a good time to back up anything important before you start tackling anything in the registry. Make sure that you've got backups of your passwords. So if you need to re-log into things or download things again, then you've got them. Make sure that you've got any media like CDs to reinstall any of your programs. Like I say, going into the registry can be dangerous. If you're that type of person that cannot follow instructions or makes mistakes on a regular basis, then do not follow this video. Get someone who has a bit of competence with computers to do this for you. So once you've backed up, once you're sure that you're happy to do this, then let's just go back to the main desktop. And what you want to do is you want to click on the start button and just type on your keyboard reg edit. That's reg edit. R E G E D I T all in lowercase and no spaces. After a few seconds under best match, you should see registry editor. Move your mouse over that left click once. The screen may darken and it may say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Make sure the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows. If it is, move your mouse over yes and left click once. Then what we need to do is we need to click on the arrow just to the left of H key current user and that should open that up. Then go down to software, click on the arrow just next to software and then go down to policies a little bit further down there. There you go. Click on the arrow to the left of policies and then go down to Microsoft and again, click on the arrow just to the left of Microsoft and then go down to Windows, click on the arrow just to the left of Windows. And then we're looking to see if we've got a key in there or a yellow folder called Windows Copilot. If you haven't, like me, move your mouse over Windows there and click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Go down to new and then go across to key. Left click once and we need to type Windows with a capital W and then we need to type Copilot with a capital C, but no space between the two. So Windows with a capital W and Copilot with a capital C, just as it's shown on the screen. No space in between Windows and Copilot. Once you've double checked this, once you've triple checked this, and you're 110% sure you've done it right, press the enter or return key on your keyboard. Then just have a look in the right hand side here. If you've got anything in here that says turn off Windows Copilot, then hang fire for a minute. If you haven't, then move your mouse over Windows Copilot there and then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Go up to new and then go across and down 
to DWORD 32-bit value, left click once. And then what you need to do is you need to type now on your keyboard, turn, T-U-R-N with a capital T, off with a capital O, Windows with a capital W, and Copilot with a capital C. And again, no spaces between any of those words. So you want turn with a capital T, off with a capital O, Windows with a capital W, and Copilot with a capital C, just as it's shown on screen now. Press enter or return once you've double checked it tri and triple checked it. And then double left click, turn off Windows Copilot. Do that if you already had that in that section, then you should see in value data, it may well say zero. If it says one, then leave it alone. But if it says zero like mine, change that to a one. Make sure your base is hexadecimal. So make sure you've got a white dot with a blue surround next to hexadecimal. If you're not sure, just click the circle beside it and then click on OK. And then that should have disabled Copilot for Windows. Now, what you might need to do is you may need to log out or restart the computer if you want to disable Copilot for all users, because this command has only disabled it for the current user that you're logged into. Then what you need to do is you need to go into H key local machine there and then go into software and then into policies and then into Microsoft and then into Windows. And you need to do the same thing. So you need to create a new key called Windows Copilot. So right click on Windows, go to new, go to key and type in Windows Copilot with a capital W and a capital C. So a capital W in Windows and a capital C in Copilot. No space between the two, then press enter or return and then right click on Windows Copilot, go to new, go across and down to D word, 32 bit value, left click once and then type in there, turn off Windows Copilot, that's turn with a capital T, off with a capital O, Windows with a capital W and Copilot with a capital C and no spaces between them. Then press enter or return on your keyboard, double click on that that you've just created, change the value data to one, make sure that hexadecimal is selected, click on it if, or the circle next to it. If you're not sure, then click on OK. And then we need to come out of registry editor and then like I say, if we try, let's just try logging off first. So let's sign out of the user and then we'll sign back in again. So let's just do that. And there we go. Copilot has disappeared from the bottom of the screen. And let's just have a look if we go into taskbar settings. And yep, it's removed from there too. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look at my Amazon store, then have a look in the description down below. There's some links down there for you. Also, if you're looking for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, a Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, then please have a look. There's more links down below. Donating, buying or subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. 